Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. We are going to design and cut in less than 15, actually less than 12 minutes. I'm going to walk you through each step of this. I talk fast for this. You can turn your playback speed on 0.5 for it to be slower. You're gonna get my free SVGs of these gathers. You're going to ungroup it and then every one you don't want, just click on that holding down shift and turn it to output none. You can hide it and lock it, and we're only left with what we want. Easy, right? Next up, we're just gonna size it. You can use the transform controls, or you can type in the size. We need a stick to put this into a bouquet, so I'm gonna make a rectangle. Now the size is kind of what matters, but what we're gonna do first is talk about the machine. There's a massive sale going on. I wanted you to, to see it in case you know, there's price increases anywhere for any reason. I'm using the M1 Ultra 10 watt and I have this like deluxe bundle. So you don't have to get this. You can get just the machine or just the machine and the purifier or whatever, but there's a lot of bundles. Xtool makes it really cool to sort of put it all together for you. They even have a heat press if you want to use vinyl and make your own t-shirts or bags or whatever. I really like this machine. It has swappable modules allowing you to do printing on wood, um, all kinds of stuff, blade cutting, all of it. I am going to pair it today with the desktop air purifier, also on sale. Always contact me for additional coupons because we get those. So this des uh, desktop air purifier is great. There's also this bigger option. So if you are in an apartment, if you're in a condominium, anywhere where, you know, nosy neighbors might be banging at you for exhausting out smoke, purifiers are going to be able to pull the air from the machine, clean it, and then put it outside so you won't get those Karens. I'm just saying. Those little, those little people who may be bothered by it, purifiers are always a great idea. All right, so here's my machine. I'm going to measure my piece in here because I have a wonky piece. I can still work with it. I'm going to put in the 10 watt laser module. You just slide it in, lock it in place, and we are ready. So now that I know my size, I can go in here and type in the size for this rectangle. I'm also going to show you how well this works. The software from Xtool is literally not able to be compared to anyone else, okay? So right now, I'm just zooming in. You can use uh, the software to create a an Illustrator or a Photoshop style piece. We do not want our crossbar to be between the T and the H. So we come up here to the edit menu. We drag the right little node up. We drag the left little node down. And now you, when you hit done, you're gonna have a solid connected piece when you join these two without messing up your word. I love that for us. I just want to share. So I change everything to gather or to um, cut and then I'm going to merge and unite. So you see that up there? Watch. It all becomes one piece. Note in the right hand side, it becomes a score. You will have to change that back to cut. It's just a thing in the software. So I'm going to go ahead and size this and you can size it with transform controls or up here in the sizing menu. Either one will work. So now you can see a little red dot on the screen, the crosshair. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm putting the crosshair anywhere on the material and then I'm going to come up here to the auto measure. You don't have to mess with rulers or anything. It auto measures it for you and enters it here. You can also work in millimeters or inches just by going to the settings and clicking it right here. So now that we've got it measured, we measured our distance, we need to mark our area. I'm going to move this to cut first and I'm going to choose my material. Today I'm using walnut plywood, but there's tons of materials in here. When you choose the material, look, it auto puts in your settings. I have to bump mine up for two. Uh, so now I'm at 92, five and one. Now I'm going to mark it and tell the actual laser what to do. Okay. So when you hit the marking thing, I'm going to choose polygon because I've got a wonky area. Now let me show you on the machine what I'm doing. I move it to the starting point. I hit the white button. All these beeps are every time I hit the white button. So I'm just mapping out do, 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 like little dots where I want this piece 
to be cut in the middle of. This is a feature that Xtool has really worked hard on. This algorithm is bananas and it allows you not to waste material. I hate wasting material. And this is what happens in the machine every time, or in the software, every time you hit the white button on the machine. You don't even have to end it. If you hit end marking, it'll close it for you. Hit done and it locks this in. Then we just drag and drop. Now, you do have to make sure you're all the way inside that little transform box so you can move them or size it with the, the uh, digits up at the top left or with the transform controls. Girl, I barely made that in there. But I did make it, and that's what matters. So now I'm going to frame it. In this case, framing doesn't help us, but basically what happens is you close the lid, push the framing or push the start button when you hit framing and it basically just maps out where your piece is going to be making sure you're inside of what area area you identified so now we're going to go to process and when you see at this screen you see the bottom left is telling you it's going to take about four minutes so at the top right you just set the start to send the file to the machine then you push start on the machine and it moves to processing so this is my machine and the air purifier. You can see up in the top left is taking away that smoke. That's because the air purifier is dragging it out of the machine. We love that for us. When the uh, piece is done, the system will tell you, hey, I'm complete. If you haven't yet, save this file. You may think you'll, you'll never need it again, but you will because that's Murphy's Law. All right, <clears throat> now that I have it done, I'm just gonna open this while I'm on camera. I'm literally running out of time when I'm making this. So talk about a quick craft. I just had to bring over something to somebody who was feeling under the weather, just broke a nail right there, but these are our problems. So you can see it's already coming out, so I'm just gonna gently press it out and then pop out the little inside pieces here. And that is it for this craft. Isn't that easy? If you have any questions about the M1 Ultra, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate you being here. Please like this video, share it and subscribe for more crafty fun.